Hey gang, how are you? Coach Newman here, or Doc, and Coach Williams, and we're coming at you today to talk to you about the world's water woes research project. You are going to have an opportunity to drink this water. No, I'm just kidding. We know that around the world, a lot of people would say, this is the kind of water that they have to drink, or this is the kind of water they have to use. Water and water usage and sharing water is a very difficult issue that we've got to solve. So one of the things that we're trying to do is we're going to give you an opportunity to solve the problem. So we're solving the world's water woes. You're going to be put into some groups. You are assigned an opportunity to do research and do some really good um, thought processing and thinking through and coming up with ideas how you think your group can get clean water to places around the world that doesn't have clean water. There's a couple of perspectives that we want you to think about. One of those is your group may be assigned to this, that you're a country who has water. Because you have water, it's clean water and other people need it. So what are you going to do? Are you going to share it? Are you going to charge them? Are you going to fight over it? What are you going to do? The second you may be uh, assigned to is that you have no water. If you're a country, I guess, kind of like what's behind us, Saudi Arabia, and you have no water. So where are you going to get your water? How are you going to live because we know water is life? So we're thinking about it. How in the world can we get water? How can we deliver water to the people who need it? The third thing is, is you may be a country who has access to non-drinking water. I don't know about Coach Williams, but I think this is non-drinking water. Non-drinking water. Non-drinking water. So uh, this would be the kind of water you have. And so how are you going to get water to your people? What are ways that you're going to be able to get it here? A fourth perspective, I like this one, is you're a part of a group that is developing an awareness campaign to dirty water around the world. So in other words, you're an advertising company or you're a PR group and you have to come up with public service announcements or commercials that show how people need water and why we need to get involved in giving them water. And then the fifth perspective, which is probably the toughest perspective, by the way, so if you get this one, it must mean you're a pretty sharp cookie. It is that you are a United Nations committee and you're negotiating with countries to deliver water around the world. And you want to try and help solve that problem. So throughout this video and throughout this process, we're going to be talking to you how you can do a great job in solving the world's water woes. Now stop and think about this. If you can solve the world's water woes, this is a billion, with a B, billion dollar idea. So if your team comes up the way to do it, and your team makes a billion dollars, Coach Williams and I, and I guess Ms. Adams, they, we get a cut of what goes on. All right? Sounds good. Well, here's Coach Williams. He's going to talk to you about some more stuff. All right. So the first thing that you're going to do after you get into your groups and get assigned a perspective is you're going to spend some time um, thinking about uh, ideas that you have you could use to um, solve your problem. So based on your perspective, what do you think it is that you uh, will come up with a solution to, to fix this problem in the world. And that is something that you will turn into us. There are checkpoints throughout this assignment that you um, will report on to us so that we know that you're actually working and completing that work. So that's the first checkpoint. All right, which is gonna be cool. And we need your help. So you're gonna have to open up your minds and think about this. Now the second thing that's gonna happen is, in your second checkpoint, is a water woes packet. Now, you guys before, I think in sixth grade, you've heard of our, what we call DBQs. Not barbecue, but <laughs> DBQs. Our DBQs are packets that we've put together, and we've developed one that has some pictures, has some articles, has some quotes, and we want you to interact with those on your sheet of paper. Now, that paper is due, which means every single person does that for an individual grade. That's not for a group grade. That's an individual grade, and so you will complete the DBQ. But what it does is it helps you see the research that's out there. It helps you see some things that we've suggested that you look at that makes you aware of the water problems that are there. So you can look at the DBQ and it will be assigned, most likely assigned through our Google Classrooms, and through that platform you'll submit it back to us on the Google Classroom platform, and we'll be able to grade it and get it back to you quickly that way. And you'll see if you're on the right track or not. And then when you get together with your group, 
you all know what you're talking about because you've studied this and you've looked at, and you become aware of it. It also helps you think about where are some other places I can go to find some research. All right, so after you do this water wash packet, the second, or I'm sorry, the third checkpoint will be uh, three solutions. Um, most uh, students want to do just one, but we require you to do three, and then you as a group will decide which one of these solutions you want to develop more fully. So uh, you'll have a lot of ideas in the brainstorming session, and that's why that's important. So you'll basically say, okay, we think these are the top three out of our brainstorming session, and this is the top one out of the three that we really want to go forward with. So that is a checkpoint as well. All right, and after you do that, you will complete your research template. Now, what that means is, and I know this sounds strange, you're going to get a piece of paper with all of these checklists we're talking about on it. That's your template. And when you complete that by filling the whole packet out, it's just one page, and, and whoever your leader is, is probably going to be the best person to fill it out, or find the person with the best handwriting, because we only need one template per group. Uh, so if you're in a room that has six groups, we just need six. If it's three groups, we need three. That's all we're going to need. And you're going to fill it out. Pretty simple. Where are your notes? On my brainstorming. You know, have, I, have as everybody finished the water woes packet, uh, have we done our three solutions where you have those, just like Coach talked about, three solutions. But here's the one we're going to do, and then this is what we're going to do. We're going to research this out and figure it out. Then you're going to develop the technology piece, and Coach is going to talk to you about that. And then also on the template, you fill out who is assigned to what, because everybody in every group has a responsibility, and you have a job, and you have to fulfill your job. Okay, on the day of presentation, uh, you have several methods that we are going to show you, um, and that has a PowerPoint all in itself. Um, that things you may have used in the past, things you may not have used in the past that would help you um, present this in a very cool way using technology. Um, every go-to is a PowerPoint. That's probably the, the starting point for a lot of people. But there are a lot of cool things that are free on the internet that we want to show you so that you can showcase uh, your uh, solution and you can also showcase your hard work that you've put into it uh, in a cool way that you could actually um, take outside the classroom and show your parents, show your grandparents, show your nieces and nephews, anybody who would, you'd care to show it to, you could show it to. Sounds good. Now, here's a really cool part to me about this, is when we're signing this out, you not only are doing a technology piece, so that's something that you can show in class, and that's a presentation you make in a technology way. So it's through the board, and we'll have it up on the board and through the projector and the computer. There's another component to this. You're not just doing a presentation that is up front in front of everybody. You're also going to build a model that shows how you're delivering the water. And it's going to be a presentation board. So you're responsible for building things. We figured out um, when, when we got to talking about this last year and looking at it, some of you guys are really good at doing technology. You can build a great presentation. But some in your group, you don't feel very strong there. But you know what you can do? You can build something that stands up. It's a 3D model that shows this demonstration. So this is where you get the opportunity to shine in your group. So each member of the group gets to pick and choose at what portion am I going to take the lead? Am I taking the lead on the technology presentation? Am I taking the lead on the presentation, whether it be a, a poster board that we've attached things to, making it 3D, or whether it's a big model that we've done out of a box and we're, we're making this model and it's showing something that really pops and it represents what we're going to do. How are we going to deliver the water? How are we going to get the water? What is it that shows that we've proven that this model may possibly work and so that's what we're talking about. So the presentations, the final piece is how are you going to get this uh, drinkable and so um, that's part of what coach was talking about, you know, project board and then the technology piece as well, it'll be a combined effort and the physical model too. Um, these all things will go together for your presentation which will be the last couple days of this project. So um, also, Coach and I and uh, Miss Adams will be milling around the classroom the entire duration of this. And anytime students are not engaged in, um, in actually the project, that will be uh, just a slash mark um, against you, which is basically uh, a daily grade. So um, you need to all be engaged and not play. If you play, it will affect your grade. Absolutely. In fact, it'll kill your grade if you play. Um, 
I was thinking about playing now and drinking this, but I'm hoping somebody <laughs> talks me out of it. But anyway, uh, hopefully, though, we think this is going to be a great time. It's going to take a long time to do this. I know I'm sitting there rolling this out, and I was thinking, we can't do this in a day or two days. And so we've set apart two weeks to be able to do this presentation and to be able to build our model and to be able to do our research. So if you're overwhelmed right now and there's one or two of you that may be a little bit nervous and you're thinking, how are we going to get this done? We're going to give you time and we're going to be able to build a lot of these things in class, but you're going to have to bring some stuff to you from home. And so be ready to bring in your part and do your part. And it's going to be great. And we're going to solve the world's water woes. And when we do, remember, billion dollar idea, share the money with us. Because we're teachers, we need the money, you know what I'm saying? And we need to fly out of this place. We're, yes, we do. We're get back to school in Jefferson, so help us out. Somehow. So hopefully we're there. If we're not there, where we are, it's hot. Just saying. Yeah. All right. So anyway, wow, it's rough. Yeah. But Miss Adams, she'll take over. So yeah. she's got it. She's got all three classes. Okay. Yeah, she's got them all. All, all right. Good. All right. Sounds good. All right. Adios. Amigo.